In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really sweet illustrated holiday card. So please keep on watching if you want to learn how. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So I'm going to show you how to create these cute little stockings. They almost look like little socks. Um, we're going to be using masking fluid in this tutorial as well. So to begin, I've just sketched out three little stocking illustrations and we're going to fill those in completely using masking fluid. I'm just using a little brush for this. If you want to learn a little bit more about masking fluid, um, I talked about it in my first holiday card tutorial of this season. And I also have a whole video on it in my watercolor workshop. So links to that as well as all of the supplies that I've used will be below as always. So each of these little stockings have been angled a little bit differently just to give it a little more interest. They are super easy to sketch out so you can just kind of follow the basic shape that I've done here to create your own. So while we let that masking fluid dry, I'm just going to draw a really rough little line across the top and this is going to be the line for our branch that the stockings are going to hang from. I'm just taking an eraser here now that the masking fluid is dry and I'm just trying to lightly erase some of those lines that have poked through the edges of the masking fluid. And now I'm just going to take a large wash brush. This is a one inch wash brush from Princeton and I'm just going to dampen the entire card. And because we've used masking fluid, the water will not absorb underneath those areas. I'm just gonna mix up my background color, which I want to be a really light blue shade. I just wanted something solid that would give a little bit of contrast between the background and then the stockings, which the base of the stockings are gonna be left white. So we do wanna darken the background a little bit just to make those stand out. I'm just using indigo paint here. It's very diluted, so it's gonna create that really light wash. And I'm just tilting my board a little bit here just to allow that paint to flow downwards and not puddle up. So with the paint totally dry now, we can peel off the masking fluid. This masking fluid that I used peels off really nicely. Just grab a corner and pull. Once all the masking fluid is off, you can take your eraser and just erase any additional pencil lines that may be visible. Now I'm just going to take some paint colors. I'm going to mix up sort of a ready purplish pinkish color, a yellow, and then a blue. You can choose any colors that you want. I just kind of wanted to keep them consistent throughout the whole piece. And then we're just going to start decorating each stocking. Now you can decorate these however you want. I'm just going to do some really basic lines and then fill in the toe and the heel end of those stockings, just kind of like those classic sock styles. And I'm just using a bit of black here too for a little contrast with the colors. And I'm using my silver black velvet number six pointed brush, round pointed brush. I love that it has this really thin tip that you can add such fine little details to anything with. And I wanted to keep these stockings more of an illustrative style, so I wasn't paying attention to how real they look or how perfect everything was. I really just wanted them to be fun and whimsical so once again, just decorate them however you want to. It would even be cool if you maybe put in custom monograms or initials on each stocking, depending on who you're giving it to. That was just another idea that I had. And once you've finished the stockings, you can move on to the branch at the top. So I'm just taking raw, I think, uh, no, burnt umber, um, and I'm filling in that masking fluid line that we made with that color and then I'm just going to create these little branch sections off of that main branch 
And then with a green shade, I'm just gonna add little lines to each of those to sort of form these little spruce branches. And then finally, once everything is pretty well dry, you can go in and add the hoops or the hooks that um, attach the stocking to the branch. Just make sure when you do it that one line that you're painting goes over the branch and the other one comes from behind. When everything's finished, you can remove the tape and you'll get that really nice border around your card. And this is what we're gonna be left with. So I really hope that you guys liked this tutorial. It was a little more fun and whimsical. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also be sure to check out my other holiday card series videos. And as always, let me know in the comments if you have any requests or certain themes you want me to cover in the next holiday card tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.